So in a week that's had a big update after a big update, there's quite a bit that might have gotten overshadowed. Enter the Minecraft Marketplace, the one of the only the legendary poisonous potato update by Jigarbob Productions, which as I know by the way has an absolutely fire trailer. On the very same day that the gigantic poisonous potato update was dropped on Minecraft Java over on Bedrock for the very first time ever, we've gotten a, a little April Fool's pranking of our own. If you're familiar with any of the add-ons that we've been diving into lately, in a fresh world it all begins similarly with a brand new beautiful book that I'm sure has a ton of very crucial, useful information. Yeah, but book schmuck it all actually begins over here at my local potato farm. So you kind of know how it works in Minecraft. We farm the potatoes. We keep farming the potatoes <laughs> as we continue to farm the potatoes until we get the real good one, the true prize, the cream of the crop, the poisonous potato. Over inside of a crafting table with these two poisonous potatoes, I mean, well, I, I, I mean, to be honest, there's not much that I could do yet. Or is there much that I could do? Step number one, poisonous potato, chop it down into four poisonous <laughs> potato nubs. Now, with these wonderful brand new poisonous potato nubs, what could we do? Well, we could walk around and... <laughs> we could throw the poisonous potato nubs at things. Now, little spoiler for something we're to check out a little bit more later in the video, but it's not just the poisonous potato nub. No, no, no. We also have something with a little more, hey, um, a little more firepower, if you will. Hey, so I know this is going to be really jarring to put in the video right here, but I didn't know really where else to put it. But uh, on the launcher, by the way, there's like a new font. So, mm-hmm. Now this poisonous potato add-on that comes at us for the low price of free 99 has so many different expansions to Minecraft that you've always dreamt of before. From brand new weapons to brand new vehicles to furniture. There's a lot. Now if you're feeling slightly less explosive, if you will, you could stick to the plain old normal potato nubs that are gonna actually deal damage. I get it, maybe it's all part of some kind of elaborate prank or something, but if I were to interpret this a little bit more literally, this is actually a cool idea. Imagine being able to make like a like a rock or something for a slingshot, but then you could just like throw it alternatively if you want and poison things. Now I'm not too sure exactly what happens with the explosive one, if it's actually poisoning things or what, because it, you know, kind of explodes. Now let's say you were maybe something a little bit more of a professional potato farmer yourself. Inside of the crafting table you have a lot of poisonous potatoes. Go ahead and condense them down into the brand new poisonous potato block. Ah, it's it's tasty, it's a textured, it's um what does it sound like? I I can't quite put my nose on it, but I know it definitely sounds a little bit familiar. In fact, I used this block to build our beautiful brand new world sign right over here and then you could use this beautiful new block to make something that's actually a fire idea as well for vanilla Minecraft. Poisonous potato carpet. I mean, in this implementation, an absolute and total joke, a mockery, if you will. But <laughs> what about carpets that were actually patterned that you could, like, say, make somehow to decorate up your base? Oh, that's genius. Now, over our time of diving into Minecraft add-on so far, three episodes currently, in the very first one, we checked out some amazing free furniture add-ons that were, well, amazing, that's why I called them that. Instead of this one, we've got some brand new, even more free furniture. We've got a chair that we can sit down in, right next to a beautiful table with even more, oh, even more of that romantic looking image. Suddenly, it's the middle of the night, but oh, it doesn't matter because I have myself my fancy potato lamp over here on the bamboo table that accents it quite well. Ignore that guy in the background, no big deal. Anyways, the lamp is giving off light. Right here, from the comfort of my very own poisonous sofa, I can hey. really quick remind you to tap that like button if you enjoy these videos. With the help of tapping the like button, I could leave the poisonous potatoes as, say, a painting of beautiful brand's new one and not have to eat them for dinner. I was doing something else. And... No, no, okay, alrighty then, you little nerd, you just won't camp me. Okay, I get it. All right, so at this point, the joke is probably out. If you didn't hear by now, the poisonous potato update, well, it is an update for sure. It's in Minecraft, you can check it out, but it's also a little bit of something as a. It, it's, a it's a joke. This year, over at Minecraft to Java for April Fools, the devs truly went all out. They outdid themselves. We got a frying table. We've got a fletching table. Grappling hook, a brand new dimension, the Aether, and even more is pretty crazy. Now, sadly, like, for the longest time, Minecraft to Bedrock has been left out of the fun, but no, no, not this year. This year is going to be a little bit different over on Bedrock, like, the potato update is here, but, you know. 
These are different things. But this all makes me wonder if maybe, say, Mojang could partner with somebody and drop some of the past April Fool's snapshots as add-ons for free. Anyways, that's enough of that. Back to it. Over in our survival world, we've got an enemy off on the horizon. Kind of spawn camping me as well, so if I could ideally get rid of it, that would be really, really great. Well, today is where we could actually go ahead and get rid of it. Combine a wooden sword with a poisonous potato, and you get a sword that does 10 Bruh. attack damage. Go ahead and level that all the way up to, say, maybe the netherite one, 18 attack damage. That is going to make this sword one of the most dangerous things in the entire game. You walk up to something and hit it, and not only does it do 18 damage, but it, it poisons whatever that thing was as well. If it lives. And this one is again where it gets super intriguing. I don't know how Mojang went about this one. Like, considering the fact that this wasn't technically made by Mojang, I don't know what kind of input they had. Like, did they say, just do something with the poisonous potato? Or did they say, hey, what about a, a sword that poisons things? Either way, though, as we know, Mojang likes to hint at things with these April Fool snapshots sometimes. And I don't know if that's going to transfer over to Minecraft Bedrock with the add on and everything. But the idea of maybe weapons that could deal effects, like, say, poisoning like almost a tipped arrow but a sword if you will oh that's genius as part of this update every single sword variant has a poisonous potato option and they all deal so much damage now so far a lot of the things that we've been looking at are like relatively tame a little bit odd a poison couch or carpet whatever sure sure but relatively tame take a look at this thing i don't know how it's done this reminds me of seth bling's whole physics mod recently if, if you've seen that this block it's a balloon and it's just floating if you hit it you go ahead and send it and and it, and it like pops <laughs> it's so cool that's amazing the physics right here they're so smooth and cool if i go ahead and use a lead on this thing as you would expect the balloon's on a lead then i could walk around and say like i don't know go to the local festival for potatoes or something potato con 2024 now this is where i start to wonder say lead to uh, take the balloon to the sheep here go ahead and just let go of the balloon i need it anymore okay i can't seem to let go of the balloon so no big deal we go ahead and get more can we replicate what we did in the april full snapshot with like a ton of balloons maybe i start flying or even better poor friend over here starts flying I don't think so. Potato armor. Ah, oh, yes. The thing we've always been dreaming of. Inside of a crafting table, place poisonous potatoes in the same shape that you would for your familiar armor that you know and love, and you'll be able to make a brand new best set. And yeah, when I said brand new best set, I said it with all of my chest. I meant it. This thing is absolutely insane. So we've got the full armor on right now. Check out that armor bar. I'm looking good. If I took a couple pieces off, say just had the helmet and the boots, I still have insanely good armor. In fact, just three pieces will fill up your entire armor bar. However, four pieces will deal poison to anything standing nearby. That sheep that wouldn't take the balloons I was trying to give it? Goodbye, friend. I never liked you. This poor innocent swamp monster walking around over here that is poisonous? Well, I... He kind of is immune to poison, so it doesn't work. However, say our worst nightmare of all time, the warden. Oh, yeah, that definitely works. Now, maybe it's not the best idea for the warden to take it out. Poison is a little slow after all, but <laughs> it works for sure. Like, I'll admit it, though, maybe the new sword is a little bit of a better move for the warden. Now, if you thought things were crazy today, this is where things get really, really crazy. Inside of this add-on, we have something called a poisonous potato-powered minecart and then a wrench. Now, this wrench, it's super cool. If we walked up to a potato minecart and say interacted with the wrench, we can go ahead and change its state. Go ahead and remove the wheel off of the cart. Maybe it's in the way and, well, it doesn't matter. Now, don't get me wrong, I like the clean look of minimalism, but I think the wheel going back is a little bit better. We jump in the cart and go ahead and walk around. And you jump in the cart and real quick, the elytra becomes a little bit of something of the past. It doesn't matter anymore. It's a distant memory. With this cart, new best transport. Now, I had a little bit of an idea that I was thinking about with this add-on. What if we combine it with ice? Do we get... I don't think it's any different. The minecart's already insanely overpowered. <laughs> I guess I don't know what I was expecting. Oh my god, and how could I do it? I almost forgot about our dear, sweet friend, happy little guy, Mutato. Mutato, you are just perfect. Yeah, so uh, overall, I would say the potato update over on Bedrock, that's pretty good. Next up, if you're Bedrock gang and you love add-ons, you want to see more, consider checking out this one next and tap like. Thank you all so much for joining me for today's poisonous video. Thanks for being me, the handsome lad, and I'll see you all tomorrow. Goodbye.